Good. So we're going to start out this morning with our vocabulary lesson. And so you should be opened up to page, the page that says determination versus despair. Is that the, is that the next one in your packet? Okay. Now I might do it a little bit differently than your teacher, so you just bear with me this morning, okay? All right. So in our text, in Earthquake Terror, the author shows us that determination and despair are actually opposites of one another. And it wasn't until I read Earthquake Terror that I realized that. I didn't know that despair was the opposite of determined. So let's take a look first at the word determination. How many of you have heard that word before? Determination. Okay, let's look at the context for the word. It says, but no matter how fierce or strong, right? No matter how strong his determination, Jonathan knew deep down that what happened now was beyond his control. What I want you to do is I want you to think about what it means to have strong determination. Okay? Would you turn and talk at your tables, put your heads together? What do you think it means to have determination? To have strong determination. <laughs> But no matter how, how tears his determina determination, Jonathan knew deep down that what happened not was beyond his control. All right, so Jessica said to never give up, and you agreed with her. Do you agree with her? Do you think it means to never give up? Is that what you said? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, over here. Okay. So what made you think that? Have you heard that word before? Determined. So you know that determined means never give up? So if you have determination, that means that you are not going to give up? Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever showed determination to do something? Yeah. What? Um, playing sports. And you never give up even if you're not doing well one day you keep practicing? Good. All right, turn back. So as I floated around the room, I didn't get to every table, but this is what I heard. I heard, never give up. Give me a thumbs up if you agree that if you have determination, it means you never give up. Can anyone think of another word or phrase that we could use to describe determination? Is there another way to say that? Okay, so you're excited. Like to be determined, you have to have some excitement to accomplish it or to do it. Whoop. I'm getting tangled. What did I say the word fierce meant here? Do you remember? I said strong. Do you think that has to do with your muscles? To be determined, you have to have big muscles? You have to be brave or strong on the inside? So, is it Kevin? Yeah. Kevin? So Kevin was saying that he was really determined when he was learning to play sports. So Kevin, did you have to be really strong on the inside to keep going when you messed up? Okay, so in our book, Earthquake Terror, Jonathan's been showing that he's strong on the inside. He's brave. He's not going to give up, right? Would you agree? 
Now, let's look at the opposite word. Let's look at despair. It says, Jonathan remembered his despair after he struck out with the bases loaded. He had wanted to quit the team right then and give up baseball forever. How is despair the opposite of determination? If you have despair, you give up. Do you understand? Determination means to never give up. Despair means to give up. Now why, I keep getting stuck, why would you give up? Turn and talk at your tables. What do you think despair means? Why would you give up? Because he thinks he got no faith. No faith? Can you think of another word for that? You don't really care at something. So you don't think that you can do it? Like you don't believe in yourself? So that's like having no faith, right? You don't believe in yourself. You just get tired and you don't want to be Okay, turn back. You guys are doing great. I heard a lot of good examples out there. Can you raise your hand if you have a word or phrase that describes despair? Go ahead. No faith. No faith. That was actually what your friend said, right? And then you put it in your own words. So I'm going to write down. What's your name? Marcos. Marcos said, no faith. And then, what's your name, honey? What did you say? Do you remember? You don't believe in yourself, right? So if you have despair, it means you have no faith that you can do what it is you're trying to do, right? You don't believe in yourself. I heard some other really good examples. I better just move this chair. <coughs> Go ahead. Hopeless. I was hoping somebody would say that word. Very good. Hopeless. These two words are preparing you for what's going to happen in your book coming up. This vocabulary lesson is preparing you for the turning point of the story. So you need to be thinking about how Jonathan is going from being determined to feeling despair. Okay? Would you figure out a way that you're going to remember these words, determination? Kevin, I could picture you drawing a little picture of yourself playing a sport. Because he said that he never gives up. Then you might draw a picture of a time when you did give up. Okay? So like I um, didn't do a very good job being determined to play the piano. Oh boy. You learn very quickly when I teach the vocabulary lesson that I can't draw very well. <laughs> so I always add labels to my pictures. This is supposed to be a piano. I gave up playing the piano. You did? But one thing that I've stayed really determined to do, even though it's been hard, has been to be a writer. So I'm determined to be a writer, but I wasn't very determined about playing the piano. If you heard me play, you'd understand why I was in a state of despair. <laughs> so write down, how will you remember the word? 